Over the past couple of years, over half of all Americans have cut the cable cord in favor of streaming TV over YouTube and Hulu. Most do it to save money, but it might not be for everyone. Jamie Tucker explains what everyone needs to know before cutting the cord. Now you can save a lot of money by cutting cable and going to one of the streaming services, but a lot of people don't like it for these reasons. First and foremost, the remote and menu are nothing like cable. You can't control the channels with the smart TV remote or the remote that came with the Roku, Fire Stick, or Chromecast. But notice anything? They're a lot smaller than cable remotes with fewer buttons. There's no previous or last channel button. Changing channels requires going back to the menu and finding the other channel. That's a big deal, sports fans. Switching between games, it's not nearly as fast. Number two, there are no channel numbers on YouTube TV or Hulu. You can set up the menu to place your favorite channels near the top, or you'll need to scroll and scroll and scroll to find the channel you're looking for. Number three, startup is slower. Turning on a cable connected TV is instant. Streaming must load, connect to the internet, and then display the menu. Number four, you might need to upgrade your Wi-Fi router and your internet plan, especially if you have multiple TVs streaming in 4K. And number five, you might not save as much as you think. In the past couple of years, YouTube TV and Hulu Plus Live TV have both raised prices. Hulu is raising its subscription rate to $77 a month, while YouTube TV just raised prices to $73 a month. I will say most people I've spoken to who have made the switch have adjusted to the changes. But if you are a creature of habit and you hate change, it's a good idea to get one of the free trials before you cut the cord yourself. That's what the tech. I'm Jamie Tucker. When we come back.